good people welcome again to vibes the show that gives you all the juice on your favorite celebs and moments in the world of showbiz of course with myself rejoice eldage let's get right into it the Grammys have renamed some of its award categories and this opens our trends this week. The movement for more inclusiveness in the music industry saw some progress on Wednesday after the organization behind the Grammy Awards announced a number of changes to its category names including changing the urban contemporary category to progressive R&B. The Recording Academy's move comes amid growing criticism in the music industry over the term urban that has long generalized genres including hip hop and R&B but which many believe belittles the innovation of black music. The renamed category, according to the Academy, is intended to highlight albums that include the more progressive elements of R&B and may include samples and elements of hip-hop, rap, dance and electronic music. It may also incorporate production elements found in pop, Europop, country, rock, folk and alternative. Past winners of the Grammy's Urban Contemporary Prize include Lizzo's Cause I Love You, Beyonce and Jay-Z's Everything is Love and Beyonce's landmark visual album Lemonade. The change is coming amid a wave of global protest against racism and in support of the Black Lives Matter movement following the death of African-American George Floyd in the hands of police officers. Meanwhile, British rapper Stormzy has pledged to donate the sum of £10 million over 10 years to fight racial inequality and black empowerment. According to him, the money will go to UK organizations, charities and movements fighting for black justice. Way to go, Stormzy! Away from the international scene and at number three, the Actors Guild of Nigeria has confirmed that veteran Nollywood actor Olu Jacobs is hale and hearty. Earlier in the week, the actor became the latest of his colleagues to fall victim of fake news as reports went round that he had passed on. Well, sorry to rain on your parade rumor mongers because it has been confirmed that he is perfectly fine. The spokesperson of the AGN, Mona Lisa Chinda Koka, disclosed this in a statement on Wednesday. The group also used the medium to warn Mr chief makers and enemies of the industry to desist from such wicked acts. And to some exciting news at number two, Nigerian music couple Simi and Adekunle Gold have welcomed their first child. Simi shared the news on Instagram on Sunday and revealed that they had named their daughter Ade Jare. Adekunle Gold also took to Instagram to share the good news to the delight of their fans. Simi's pregnancy was confirmed when she debuted her baby bump in the video for her hit single Dudu Ke. <laughs> which quickly sparked a trend on social media, the Dudu Care Challenge. Anyway, the baby is finally here now and we wish the couple all the best with their new journey. And top on the trend for this week is the news of how Nigerian Instagram celebrity popularly known as Hush Puppy got arrested over allegations of fraud. He was reportedly arrested by Interpol in the early hours of Wednesday in the United Arab Emirates. He was alleged to have been nabbed after allegedly diverting coronavirus aid funds to the tune of $35 million. The Dubai-based Nigerian is famous for posting over-the-top luxury on Instagram as well as posing next to helicopters and supercars. However, last year he changed his Instagram name from the famous billionaire Gucci master to real estate developer following the arrest of fellow Instagram and Dubai-based big boy Momfa by anti-graft officials. Prior to Hush Puppy's arrest, himself and his alleged fraud syndicate were said to have been on the radar of the Federal Bureau of Investigations for a while now. This, of course, quickly became a hot topic across social media as many Nigerians have continued to wonder about the real source of his income. Well, that's some serious trouble right there and we do hope that the law enforcers are able to transparently follow this till the end. Now let's move over to our tidbits in music, movies and fashion. In the world of music, Ghanaian soul songstress Effia has decided to give us some magic once again with her new single titled The One. Produced by Black Jersey, the song also features Nigerian diva Tiwa Savage. Meanwhile, Nigerian singer and songwriter Mr. Easy has released a four-track EP featuring C. Nati and King Promise. The EP, titled One Day You Will Understand, is a follow-up project to Mr. Easy's 2018 release Life Is Easy Volume 2. And from Mr. Easy to you, it's all love and light. And 
singer Adekunle Gold, who has just welcomed his baby girl with his wife Simi, has decided to prolong the celebrations with the release of the visuals for his hit single, Something Different. Go watch and enjoy. To movies, director of the film Dear Afi, Big Sam Olatsunji, has announced his second directorial offering titled Honeymoon Nightmare. The crime comedy film will feature Yvonne Jagede, Deyemi Okonlawa, Ufoma, McDermott, and several others. The official release date is, however, yet to be announced. And finally, in the world of fashion, we're taking a look at another fast-rising trend, the Vogue Challenge. While the year 2020 has brought so many twists and turns, the world has constantly found ways to keep hope alive. The Vogue Challenge requires artists and photographers to showcase their best works, mostly fashion-related, with the Vogue magazine cover logo. It also follows various online trends such as the Don't Rush Challenge, Do Do Care Challenge, and Bob Daddy Challenge, amongst many others. And we're absolutely here for all all the shades of beauty and creativity. And that's the show for today. I hope you enjoyed every bit of it. Don't forget to show us some love by liking and sharing this video. You can also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our content. I'll see you again same time next week. And until then, please stay safe and stay out of trouble.